Hello, this is a C8 4038 MFM hard drive. I've had it for must be 14 15 years. Finally, decided to do something serious with it and see if I can actually get it to work. Eventually, I would like it to go into this machine. Um, it came from a university in London originally, an eBay acquisition. My thing with it is when I first started, it's always spun up perfectly well, not too noisily either, but never much in the way of, well there's some head movement noises when you first power it up, but nothing like what I've sort of seen on other people's videos on eBay. There's even a little speaker on this thing, on other videos you hear it go for a sort of self-test thing and there's a beep from that element thing there. Um, as I say, there's some head movement when it powers itself up and then that's it. Um, I've been sort of googling how to low level format these things. I remember doing all that when I was a kid, messing around with 486 motherboards and older machines with these sorts of hard drives. And eventually came across this utility that was Amazingly enough, still to be found on the Seagate FTP download site. Um, it gives you the well, it gives you the option to select from the two possible drives, zero and one. It only finds something if you enter a drive type in the BIOS of the of the motherboard of, a, of this machine. This is an old Pentium 100 machine. So I've put Type 22 in its settings and, um, and I've disabled all the IDE options. And that's an Adaptic. Uh, I've forgotten the model number. Is it AS1003 and some other letters after? Seems to be able to control the floppy drive perfectly well. Uh, I've tried that with it. And that and it's working perfectly fine with floppies. Um, but as far as the hard drive is concerned, this is actually a level of success. Because when I first started doing this, as if you can hear, you can actually hear the the uh, head actuator moving around. If you put your hand on it, that bigger sound you can sort of feel the the movement. It wasn't doing any of that to start with, despite the fact that it was slowly going through all these cylinders and head reads as it's formatting. It seems to the utility seems to work regardless of whether the the drive is functional, although it must have some level of functionality I suppose even on the, on the logical side. It wasn't until yesterday even that I was getting any sign of head movement. Something suddenly sounded like it gave way, as if the head mechanism inside had previously been seized and it had unseized itself. So I've left it running all night. It's actually sounding a bit quieter now as well. Um, before it was sort of making odd bearing noises when it's spinning, but now it just sounds really quiet. But my thing is, drive not recal error. From what I've read on the various Seagate documents I found on the same website, that can relate to cabling issues. Uh, drive select set incorrectly. As far as I can see I've got all that right. All my cables are plugged in the right way around. The bigger of the two cables is it's not keyed and I'm not very sure if this is actually a floppy drive cable. I might have covered my super brain if I know. The other one I think I try is this. 
which has the twist in the end. I'm not sure whether it should have a twist or various things are read on VC fed. Some people say they did use it with straight through cables, other people say they've tried it with a twist in the end. I always thought the draft select was done with jumpers and not with twisting with devices of this age. Um, there's 700 and odd cylinders on this drive, so it's nearly finished. I've never actually let it get to the end of a full format because it's always looked a bit pointless because of these recal errors. I had it running on the format verify option overnight, but it stopped at about this point, saying too many drive, too many errors found. But it does colour these, um, the different sides of the ceiling of the discs according to whether they've been read to or verified or whatever. A lot of them were red, but some of them were also green as if they'd been done successfully. But it stopped at a certain point and said it had too many errors. I don't know whether this, is, this drive is just completely too old. Too crusty. The actual read write surface is beyond redemption or whether it's slowly waking up and we've got the head head load mechanism is working now and maybe if I send it through a few format cycles perhaps it might get somewhere. But I've always had this persistent drive nor recal error. So if anybody has any suggestions is it binnable? Is it redeemable? Is there something else I can try? Please let me know. Thank you.